Hey everyone, Infinity Calcs here. It's been a while since I last posted. Hope everyone's been doing well. Today we're going to learn how to graph linear equations on your graphing calculator. So let's get started with an example. y equals 2x. So if we wanted to graph this on paper first, we know our slope here is 2, and then we can create an xy table to get some more values to help plot our graph. So let's, uh, for the x values, um, let's use negative 1, 0, and 1. So let's plug this into the equ equation to get the y values. So plugging negative 1 into 2 gets us negative 2. 0 into this, into this equation gets us 0. And then 1 into this equation, 1 times 2, gets us y equals 2. And then we can create a simple graph of this. So our first value is negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1 for the x value, this is the x line, this is the y-axis, um, and negative 2. That's our first point. The next point is 0, 0, which is right here at the origin. So our y-intercept for this equation is 0. And then the last point, 1, 2. And then all we need to do is to connect the dots. This is the linear graph of y equals 2x. So if we wanted to do that on our graphing calculator, we would go to first y equals, and then here we'll enter in the equation 2x, 2x, and then hit graph. Um, and we can see the graph here of y equals neg excuse me y equals 2x and if we want to see the the table values on the graphing calculator all you have to do is hit second table and then let's 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 match up the value so negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 negative 2 0 0 1 2 um, and the same values show up on the graphing calculator awesome Let's uh, let's do um, let's do another example. Let's do y equals one half x plus two. So same thing here. Um, let's create an x y table. And for our x values, let's use negative one, zero, and one. And for our y values, let's see what we get. So plugging in negative 1 into 1 half x yields negative 1 half plus 2. That's 1 and 1 half. Our y-intercept, let's find it. So plug in 0 for x, and we get 2. And then lastly, we plug in 1 into 1 half x. We get 1 half plus 2. That gets us two and a half. Awesome. Let's, let's create the graph of this. Yeah, these lines are not that straight. Um, I think it'll be better in the future to probably use a ruler. Um, so let's get started on this one. So negative one and then one half. So I'll put two tick marks here. And in the middle is one and one half right there. So again, negative one and up, one and one half. And 0, 2, 0, and go up 2, and then 1, and then 2.5 for the y values. So up 2.5, which is around right there. And the last thing to do is just connect the dots. Perfect. And let's see how this looks on the graphing calculator. So. Here, let's enter our equation. So 0.5, which is the same thing as 1 half, x plus 2. And then hit the graph button at the top. And that's our graph of negative, excuse me, that's our graph of y equals 1 half x plus 2. And then we can go to the table values, um, and they're both the same. Awesome. 
And let's do one last example of uh, an improper, uh, uh, basically a line that's not in y equals mx plus b form. So let's see, uh, let's do 4x plus 2y equals 6. So let's try to put this in y equals mx plus b form. So we'll move the 4x to the right side. So 2y equals negative 4x plus 6. Let's divide 2 um, on by both sides. So we can get y by itself. So then it's going to be y equals negative 2x plus 3. Perfect. We have our equation in y equals mx plus b form. Let's create an uh, xy table to get some values to plot down. Let's use negative 1, 0, and 1 again. So negative 1 into this uh, equation equals 5. Negative 1 times a negative 2 is 2, plus 3 is 5. Um, plug in 0 for x, we get 3. And we plug in 1 for x, we get 1. Let's create a graph for this. So negative 1 and positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plot that down. And then the next one is 0, 3. Right here. Last one is 1, 1. There we go. And we can create uh, a, a line from this. Just connect the dots. Ah, let's make that a little bigger. So they all connect. And that's our, our graph. Uh, notice how it, it points um, the other way compared to the previous two, um, and that's because this graph um, has a negative slope of 2. So let's graph this real quick. So let's go back to um, y equals, and we can clear this and enter a new equation of negative 2x plus 3. So negative 2x plus 3, and graph. And there we go. We get a line graph of negative 2x plus 3. And if we go to second table, we get the same values that we got here on paper. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, um, please um, comment in the description uh, any questions that you, excuse me, please comment below um, for any questions that you have. Um, and also please subscribe if this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.